Number 11. Write down the derivative. So d by dx of inverse sine of x is just 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Mark. Thank you very much. Integration by parts. To do this, I want to get the integral of inverse sine of x times this thing. 1 minus x squared dx. <coughs> so going by that clue at the front, I'm taking it that's the one that's going to be differentiated, so that's the one that's going to be integrated. Right. That means, I'll put this over here. That means the very first thing I've got to do is integrate this. Now I'm just going to work this out separately at the side, I think. I want the integral of x over 1 minus x squared dx. Well, that's an obvious case for a substitution. Make that 1 minus sine squared. So I'm going to let x equal sine whatever, sine theta. So dx by d theta is going to be cos theta, which means this is going to come to, whoops, oh, <laughs> sine theta times dx's cos theta over d theta over the square root of 1 minus sine theta squared. So I've got sine theta, you can see what's happening, that cos is going to disappear, over 1 minus sine squared is cos squared, square root of cos squared is cos, so I've just got sine theta, so I've got the integral of sine theta d theta, which is negative cos theta, plus c, I'll leave the c out just now. Now cos theta, I need to get back to x, I know that x is sine theta, but I know the connection between them, sine squared plus cos squared makes 1, that's what you used here anyway. So that cos can go back to the square root of 1 minus sine squared. So there's that part, that integral up there comes to this. So first step is, I've sorted out which I'm going to integrate. I'm integrating this, so I'm going to leave that inverse sine alone, integrate that, which produces a negative 1 minus x squared. Minus the integral of, now that I've done that, I'm going to leave that one alone. But integrate this one, sorry, differentiate this one now. So that's going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared times the one I had already integrated, that gets left alone, times negative 1 minus x squared dx. Oh, it's got a bit nasty over there, but very handy. That all cancels out. I'll just write this again neatly. So I've got negative, I think I'll put that first, 1 minus x squared times the inverse sine of x. Minus minus makes this plus the integral of that all cancels out and just leaves you dx. So I've got negative 1 minus x squared inverse sine of x plus x. Now I can put my constant in. Just one integration there, so one constant. Final answer, I'll just tidy that up. I'll make it put that x first. x minus the square root of 1 minus x squared inverse sine of x plus c.